It's March 5th, the anniversary of the Boston Massacre. Let's shake on it. Okay, now when I did my little intro there, that was my attempt at a Boston uh, accent. March. Uh, that's about as good as it's gonna get here. I might be slipping in and out of it, you never know, but uh, you know, we just roll with the flow, you know? With this Boston. I don't know if that's something they say there. Uh, I don't even think I've ever been to Boston. But the band Boston is pretty good. But as I said, March 5th, 1770 is the anniversary of the Boston Massacre. What is the Boston Massacre, you may ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. The Boston Massacre was an event uh, when some British soldiers were kind of in Boston. They were patrolling, they were walking the streets, um, there were, the tension was high, the people of Boston didn't really uh, get along with them. Of course, the people, the British soldiers weren't really well liked and you know, they uh, were constantly being tormented, people would throw things at them, um, and tensions were high. And one night, uh, there was a Boston, or there was a British soldier on patrol. A guy comes out of a bar, a tavern one night, and uh, he's a little, he's had a few too many to drink. He's uh, antagonizing this guy. They get into a fight. He screams, the Boston guy screams for help. Some people come. Eventually, there's about, I think it's six or seven British soldiers versus a big crowd here. Um, this one guy, this Boston guy named Crispus Attucks, kind of gets up in their face and kind of challenges them to, you know, he dares them to shoot him basically. And uh, eventually, you know, there's some debate. Somebody's finger slipped on the trigger. Someone shot intentionally. Somebody shot and um, a big riot broke out, obviously. People fighting the soldiers, the soldiers fighting back for their life. Thus, the Boston Massacre. That was a horrible accent. The funny thing, though, about the Boston Massacre is really only five people died. So when you think of a massacre, that's not really the term you would use if five people were gonna die. But uh, the people in the press really wanted to stir up, you know, some people's emotions, and so they pinned this as the Boston Massacre so that people would get really riled up and they would hear that and say, oh man, there was a massacre in Boston, thus, you know, getting the juices flowing and you get people going and then they would come in and retaliate. They didn't have social media and Twitter and 24-hour news stations to disprove the fact that that was not really a massacre. So, to make a milkshake in honor of the Boston Massacre, you're gonna need some vanilla ice cream, a Boston cream pie, which actually isn't a pie, it is a, a cake, Learn something new every day, folks. And some milk. Go ahead and scoop up your vanilla ice cream. Cut yourself a big old slice of Boston cream pie. Boston. Add some milk. Blend it up and cause your own little massacre within the blender. Pour it up, and enjoy. Now when you're drinking the Boston Massacre shake, you have to really embellish your review. You know, much like the Boston Massacre wasn't quite a massacre, but people portrayed it as that, you just gotta say, like, this is the best milkshake I've ever had. Whenever you're telling people you're drinking this, they're like, yeah man, the Boston Cream Pie Massacre milkshake is the best milkshake I've ever had. You gotta try it. It's the best milkshake in the world. You know, regardless of how you really feel, you just gotta portray it as that. And people are gonna come running and they're gonna want it. They're gonna be like, yeah, I want that. I want the best milkshake in the world. Got my red straw for the Boston Red Sox. Boston. Horrible. This accent is horrible. Mark Wahlberg. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. Um, in the comment section down below, let me know if you've ever been to Boston. Um, what was it like? Did you enjoy it? Be sure to check out the other videos. Just this past Monday, I posted a video where I filmed four seconds from every day in the month of February and made a little montage. It's pretty cool, so go check it out. And uh, just subscribe to the channel so you see the rest of the videos when they come out. Remember, whether you are British or from Boston or from anywhere else, there's always a reason to celebrate. Boston. <laughs>